Have you ever seen a movie that seems like it's about absolutely nothing, but when you think about it, really it becomes alive, becomes very complex, and ends up being about, well, a whole lot of things? It's exactly what happened to me when I watched this movie by the French director Jacques Tati is Jour de Fête. Coming up next. <laughs> Jure de Fête is Jacques Tati's first feature film. And really, Tati is one of my favorites. He's really one of my cinematic heroes. I love all of his movies, and this, his first movie, may be his weakest, but it's really actually very interesting. It stars Tati as a postal delivery worker in a rural French village. And the movie begins with a carnival coming to the village. Carnival stays there for a full day. People are interested in it. They play games. They watch movies. And the carnival generally stirs up a sleepy town. Among the representatives of the sleepy town is an older woman wearing all black and she serves as a kind of commentator on the action and the people occasionally in the movie she will pipe up and talk to the viewer in a way and tell them who people are and what they're like the movie shows a lot of aspects of the french village and then it will start to focus on the postal worker who rides a bike each morning delivering the daily mail now this movie has a lot of plot strands a lot of things happening it's a jacques tati movie so you know it's not just about one thing one plot line one event but ordinarily reviewers pick one plot line to describe this movie so really the main plot line is this the Tati postal worker character, midway through the movie, ends up seeing a documentary on American postal workers. The documentary is played by a film reel at this carnival. Now he's drunk while he watches this documentary, but this movie claims that the Americans have the fastest, speediest, most efficient postal service in the world. They even use airplanes and do air deliveries. Well then, he watches this and gets jealous, and everybody in the town notices, you know what, these Americans do things much better and much more efficiently. Why don't you, our postal worker, do things this way? Oh, but dis donc, viens de délivrer un film sur la poste en Amérique, hein, et j so this gets the Tati character thinking. Then later in the movie, particularly in the movie's climactic moments, he will take his bike and he will try to be as speedy and as quick as he can in his postal delivery, trying to match the Americans speed for speed. Because it's a Tati movie, if you've never seen one, you gotta know he is subtly comic. He never cues you to laugh at his jokes. You either laugh or you don't laugh, but he moves on and then does some other gag, some other inventive thing. Very subtle humor in this, but I really appreciate that. Now, I watched this movie, and then I was set off, actually, by reading reviews and comments about this movie. I hadn't really thought much about it, but I found a very prominent reviewer on this platform talk about this movie as if it actually said nothing was about nothing. There's one thing I know. Jacques Tati, one of the masters of the form who planned out everything, was an absolute perfectionist. There is no freaking way that this movie or any of his movies are about nothing. I got angry at that comment. Rarely do I get angry at such comments. And so I thought about it. And here is what I think this movie is about, at least in part. Spoilers are coming, but you know what? It doesn't matter if this movie is spoiled because there's no real plot revelation here that is a big deal. I think this movie is in part about fashion, fashion trends, especially after World War II. Tati was in a rural French village during the Nazi occupation of France in World War II. So what he depicts in this movie is a lot like that rural village. It's a lot like the stereotypical villages you see in movies. Remote, quaint, behind the times, in fact, way behind the times. And so much of that is signified by this hunched over old woman set in her ways, wearing black, traditional clothing, and a traditionalist at heart. Well, that's counterpointed by the carnival, this brand spanking new thing, exciting new thing, coming into town, and by by the end of the movie, it's exited the movie at a fast pace. Carnival sweeps into town, goes out of town quickly, very rapid change. And of course that syncs up with, you know, this main plot line I've described, which is the idea that the postal service in France, this rural postal service, needs to speed up to get with the times to match the Americans. Because the trendsetters in the world after winning World War II are the Americans. And not just in terms of speediness and efficiency, but in terms of, of course, movies. So Tati's movie is an answer to, in a way, Hollywood movies. First of all, the Hollywood movies he loved of old, Charlie Chaplin, Buster Keaton, and the silent movie stars that he imitated. But also these newer, faster, speedier movies that are coming out influencing all of France, including the remote villages. 
So Tati is making fun of something he would always poke fun at in his later movies, which is that a lot of people are very quick to jump on fashion trends, adopt new technologies, and change their lives sometimes for the worse. Who's to say that faster and speedier and more efficient are necessarily better? Are they really going to improve the lives of the people in this village? The postal service worker thinks yes, but he hasn't thought things through. He's really just been influenced first by the pressure of the movie he's watched, second by the people who have also watched the same movie. The movie is in part then about the absurdity of accepting trends, trends that pass away very quickly. And the same thing is true with news. News is an interesting word. It's a course about the new. And of course, the postal worker is delivering news something new to people. So the Tati character is trying to get the new very quickly to people in this remote village who really don't need anything new. There's one point in the movie where the old woman, the counterpoint to the new, I think, says to the Tati character, we don't really need the news coming in so quickly. Most news is just bad news anyway, so let it be, let it come to us when it comes to us. Oh. Oh, mais les Américains, mon gars, ben, les Américains, ils font ce qu'ils veulent. C'est pas eux qui font pousser tout ça plus vite. Et pour ce qu'elles sont bonnes, les nouvelles, on a bien le temps de les recevoir. But he doesn't take that advice. He's going to take his bicycle and go as fast as he possibly can to the town, delivering them the news. So you've got these contrasts. The old village that's been working the way it's worked for probably hundreds of years versus the new trends coming into town. One, the carnival. Two, the news. Three, all the fashion trends you can think of. Not just with clothing, but with habits and with traditions. And this carnival is a key signifier of the brand spanking new, including new amusements. Here's where the spoiler comes in. At the end of the movie, the Tati character gives up being a postal worker. You see him go back and pick up a pitchfork and start farming at the end. He looks like a gleaner. He looks like a remote farmer in one of those Malay paintings from the 19th century. It looks like he goes back in time as this movie progresses forward and he gives his postal worker duties to a very young child. Here the idea is passing the delivery of the news of the fashion trends of the day to the young. One of the final shots of this movie is great. It has this kid delivering news and following this carnival out of town. But even he, this kid who likes the newfangled things, can't catch up to the carnival, thus can't catch up to the trends. In fact, nobody can catch up to the trends. That's why fashion is absurd. Once you adopt a fashion trend, Tati says, you're already out of fashion. These themes would keep popping up in Tati's later work, particularly Mon Cole and my favorite movie, Playtime. And by the way, everything I just talked about is only one of many complex aspects of this movie. So that is to say this movie is about nothing. Ain't no way it's about nothing. It's about a whole lot. Always trust master directors. They're always smarter than critics. And that's definitely true of Jacques Tati in his first feature film, which is why I think this movie is great. Have you seen this movie? What do you think about it? Please leave us a comment. And I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification to be notified when new videos come out. Thanks very much. Have a great day.